Well, this is my first uh, real project on the mill here. Bought myself a Chinese vise, and uh, it's not very pretty as far as accuracy goes. It, uh, I think, across the whatever the ways of the of the vise there, it's out by I think it was 14 thou difference between max minimum height. So it's not straight, not true. So I decided to see if I could play around with it and do something about it. It's not a very pretty casting either, but uh, anyway. So I threw a two inch face mill in here. I've been cutting across here. Got an okay surface now. And I'm gonna throw on a, uh, throw on a stone here next. I know everybody says don't uh, don't grind on your mill, but um, I got things covered up okay. We'll give her a try. I keep things pretty clean, so hopefully it'll work all right. Anyway, let's uh, throw the stone in there, see what we can do. All right, so we're spinning through here. The uh, first side here cleaned up okay. Got a nice clean pass, taking off about 10 thou. Over on this side here, yeah, you can see that line uh, right in there is the edge of the cut. You can see how much uh, how much is coming off. Of it. it looks like we're taking off about 10 on the on the high side and not even touching on the low. So, yeah, we're gonna have to make a few passes here. Yeah, okay. So we got our first real pass done there, and you can definitely see skipping on that one side there so I'm a little short on time here this evening so I got to run off I got other engagements that I got to get to so uh, I'll have to leave the rest of this for another night we'll catch you later so I'm making another cut here got a couple more hours well I got a couple more minutes to throw out this so yeah I, uh, I learned that cast iron should be cut a little bit slower so I've slowed that down and my surface finish has definitely improved a little. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, take a cut here and see if we can get down pretty close. Looked like we had about 10, 11 thou to get down to, uh, to the lowest point on this side. So we'll uh, cut this at 10.2 and see where that gets us. So this is just finishing up with the uh, cup, just cleaning up the surface there. It was a really nice job. Just kissing the top of it and uh, we got a real nice smooth surface here now. Sure notice the difference as, uh, as things heat up there though. Metal swells a little bit, and uh, and you can feel that things start to dig in a little bit as metal warms up there. Awesome, great. Well, I got to get going, so uh, that'll be about it for tonight. Boy, I'm doing this vice at like two passes at a time. That's all I have time for. Anyway, glad to squeeze in a little bit here. So I'm a happy camper. Just finished my little project here that I've been working on for the past like couple months on and off, half an hour at a time as I have time. This is my cheap Chinese vice here. I uh, got it for cheap, obviously, but it was out about 14 thou. There was about 14 thou of variation across the, across the ways in various areas. And uh, nothing, was, nothing was pretty with it. So now I've got it all trued up and I am within half a thou in any direction, so I'm pretty pretty happy with how that turned out. It was a lot of work, obviously. Um, would have been uh, would have been a lot cheaper if I count my time to have just gone out and bought a curtain in the first place. But I learned a lot in the process. I had fun doing it, so this is a win for me. Pretty happy. Now I've got something usable, and uh, now I can make something. <laughs>